So, Ilda Berg is your nemesis, and you want to know the fastest way to beat her. Well, instead of ramming your head into your monitor, let's just go through a quick analysis so you can stop being surprised and frustrated every time things happen. So at the beginning, this very first phase, it's fairly simple. All she does is spit out haws, and you have to avoid them because her laughter hurts you because you're a sensitive cuphead. And after you shoot her enough, she will eventually transform into her first constellation, which is Tauros. Now, Tauros has a tell when he's about to ram into you. What he does is he pauses for a second, so instead of moving up and down the screen, he'll stop moving, and when he stops moving, that's your indication that you need to get the hell out of his way. Then you go back to this first iteration of Ilda again. You gotta be avoiding the haws, you gotta be killing these little guys who shoot bullets, but then she likes to throw in this tornado. And what I suggest doing to avoid the tornado is turn tiny with the uh, Y button and just to either go up or down depending on your situation and forward to avoid and go around the tornado. Um, then she will change into one of two constellations. Um, in this particular instance, we're taking a look at the twins and the twins spin around and they have this cool little fireball that pops out. Now, the thing about this fireball that shoots rapid-fire bullets at you, it starts at a random location, it seems. Um, and sometimes that location can be pointing right at you and you're just gonna take damage because you never had a chance to avoid it. Um, kind of frustrating. But then you go back to good old Ilda with the, uh, tornadoes, and you just do the same thing again, turning tiny when the, uh, tornado appears, and just dodging the haws as you go and shooting these little blimps to keep going. After a while, she'll get a migraine and decide that, like all good blimps, uh, she wants to turn into the moon. Um, at this point, uh, if you had been following this up to the T, you would have probably have saved up most of your um, power-ups. I believe you can use um, maybe two or three uh, at this point if you want, but it's best to probably save it for the moon because it's hard to get through the moon without taking damage. And then you want to use your super power up, hit her in the face, and try and dodge all these stupid stars and UFOs that come at you, and hopefully you will beat her. Um, there is one curveball that Ilda can throw your way, and let's just take a look at that. And, and that curveball is the change of constellation to, uh, instead of having the twins, you will at random get the, uh, you'll get Cupid, or who, whatever that constellation is. So now, now if you get Cupid, um, if you'd use less than two supers prior to getting Cupid, uh, you'll be able to use your super on Cupid, and I suggest it. Cupid is super frustrating. Um, he shoots, he shoots his arrow straight out, he gets these three heat-seeking star things that will just follow you almost till the end of time, they'll rotate around you at least once. Um, and if you use your super, you'll find that you'll be able to kill him um, really quickly, he'll get his first shot off, you use your super, you'll hit him, he'll shoot one more time, and then he's done. Um, if you have to go through cycle and cycle of those arrows and those stars, inevitably you'll be taking a lot of damage. And again, when you get to the final moon form of Ilda, you're almost definitely going to take damage from the UFOs and from the stars and from the things shooting bullets at you. There's just so much moving, uh, it's really difficult, it'll take a lot of skill and practice to get through that without taking any damage. So, you want to get do whatever you need to do to get to that point without taking damage, that way you have the best likelihood of surviving. And again then, you just want to use all your supers that you can at the moon, dodge and survive for as long as you can, and if you manage to avoid <laughs> avoid Cupid, and you saved your super for the moon, she's actually pretty easy, she'll go down pretty quick. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, thanks for watching.